Andy here. Welcome back to my channel. This is the one where we tell you guys the big announcement. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Uh, we have been planning this for quite a while now. Let me get my husband. Do you want to tell them what we're doing? We're moving to Mexico. We're moving. <laughs> we're moving to Mexico. We're leaving July. Mm -hmm. So really soon. Yep. <laughs> so we've actually been planning this trip for how long have we been planning this? Uh, I first spoke it into existence about a year ago. That's what I thought. A year, right? Yeah. Yeah. A while. And yeah, I think I've been we've been things have been happening our way for I don't know, the last six months like the last mm -hmm. I think for like five months, it's things just are rolling in the yeah. right direction, and we finally have the opportunity to do it. Do they know what I do? No, we can tell them. Oh. I've never said it on my channel. So I'm a field service engineer, and I uh, travel a lot for work. And so more, more and more, and my responsibilities are moving down to South America, Central America. So we thought, wow. Well, I got the opportunity to move to Mexico and be closer to my customers and so that's what we're gonna do mm -hmm. so the plan is we're going to travel a little bit around Mexico yep. and then kind of find a place that we like we already have one in mind but yep. I don't I'm not gonna say it yet um, oh do you want to explain how we started this process sure uh, so since we're both of Mexican descent um, we could get our dual nationality, and so that's what we did. Yeah, we went to the Mexican consulate. Mm -hmm. um, we had to get a bunch of paperwork, which was birth certificates for her her parents, mm -hmm. birth certificates for my parents, marriage, uh, certificates. marriage certificates for both of them, mm -hmm. our birth certificates, yep. and then we did the application. And then it took about a month, and then we got back our Mexican nationality birth certificates. Yes. Um, and with those, we can now uh, do the same process for our son, which is where what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Is uh, gonna get his Mexican nationality, and once we have all three, we're gonna get our Mexican passports, become official Mexican citizens. And that way we don't have to worry about visas or anything like that when we're down there. Um, we can open up bank accounts and all that stuff that you need uh, before we settle down in a place. Yeah. And like at the beginning, you kind of brought it up and I, I, I feel like we were just very deep into the pandemic and yeah. I was very like in lockdown mode that I just, I never imagined that we would be doing this, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're doing it. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Gonna be mm -hmm. fun time. He's still gonna be working a lot. Yeah. It's basically our life. We're just like moving locations. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I'll still be traveling back and forth um, mm -hmm. into the United States and South America and Mexico. Yeah. But I should I should be home more, hopefully. Yeah, and that's why the passports, the Mexican passports, were kind of necessary to be able to like go back and forth easier. Yeah. Um, because we're not like completely like uprooting here like we still want to come back for doctor's appointments and stuff like that um, Yep, but yeah, it's a lot of traveling in Mexico. Yeah, and it's easier just going in and out of Mexico. Yeah um, I travel with a lot of tools and stuff like that and, it, and they ask a lot of questions If you go into a foreign country with tools and stuff like that So that way I just I can travel into Mexico as a Mexican national and travel into the United States as well, an American. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then it's easier to get visas to a lot of other places just with an American passport than it would be with a Mexican passport. So, best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. A little bit on how we're going to be living in Mexico. We are when we're traveling before we settle down. It's going to be Airbnbs, right? Yeah. Which he does all of this. You are amazing because. I that's too much for me <laughs> so if you want to say a little bit how 
you kind of look for what? Yeah, so uh, the first Airbnb we're gonna stay at, it's gonna be right on the beach. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a beach house. Uh, we're probably gonna be there uh, two months. Um, in a little town down south. It's like a little um, beach town with all the modern amenities, but you know, still kind of small. And from there, we're probably gonna go to Oaxaca for like the day of the dead kind of stuff and mm -hmm. experience all that, all yeah. that down there. And then for just when, around Christmas time, we'll probably head over to the Yucatan Peninsula, get an Airbnb around there, uh, spend Christmas with the family there. And then after that, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll pick somewhere else. We we'll probably do that for a year or so, mm -hmm. and then hopefully I can go to Europe after that for work. Um, it's definitely not the next step in my career progression. Yes. yes, and I am very happy to just fully support you oh. and follow you anywhere Thanks. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is support, you know. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I am very obviously like supportive um, for him to like build and continue his career because obviously I would love to be a mom by the beach <laughs> yeah but he is you know doing all this work and making it possible so I appreciate it no problem and I'm excited to be giving our son this opportunity and yeah, experience yeah I think it's definitely the biggest part of it that we're gonna he's gonna get to experience different cultures mm -hmm. um, not be narrow-minded or close-minded. But I find like a lot of people are just because they never experienced anything besides their normal life. Their normal day-to-day. -day. They think yeah. the world revolves around them kind of thing. They don't really have an, a concept of how big the world is, mm -hmm. how pretty much significant each person is. But um, yeah, so hopefully he, he op it opens his mind more to how big the world is yeah and to socialize them too just oh, yeah, with too. the whole pandemic and i know that's something that i talk about on my channel and everything um obviously when we are traveling we're still very careful we wear our mask we are vaccinated um but just you know giving our son that like experience and culture is very important so yeah. we're gonna do that in the most careful way that we know a lot of people are saying say that Mexico isn't safe, or um, <clears throat> and I, I mean, I, I guess I would tend to point that nowhere is safe, right? You could be caught at the wrong time, the wrong place, anywhere in the world. Um, but you know, we've taken that into consideration, and we picked a pretty safe place. Uh, well, it is the safest place in Mexico, mm -hmm. um, based on statistics and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. and so we, we, we feel pretty comfortable that it's going to be a safe environment for us to be. Yeah, I feel ready. Um, like being two years in the house, um, not really traveling. I think it's, we, we know how to stay safe. Um, we research the safest. Why are you making faces when I'm talking? <laughs> I guess another big thing is it is cheaper down there. I mean, it's, it feels. Yeah kind of wrong and almost in a way because we're kind of like gentrifying and colonizing um, but also in a way it is our country you know it is where our parents came from and, and so um, we're going down there with you know the expectation that we're gonna hire and we're gonna contribute to the economy you right. know and yeah. try to help people while we're down there so now we're just gonna go and take advantage of, it, of the whole of our situation of coming in with an American salary mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and so hopefully we can do some good down there you know uh, yeah that's absolutely what I have in mind like I don't really want to like even like it to be noticeable that we're Americans um, because we are Mexican so I just kind of want to be fully immersed in our culture you know and go see our people you know and support mm -hmm. the local artistry and the local economy yeah and mm -hmm. then you know maybe help people out while we're down there you know yeah uh, give them a leg up of the other world where they otherwise wouldn't get um so yeah yeah and like it we're getting so much from the country and the people that 
I feel like it's only fair, yeah. you know, that we do that. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks, you guys, for watching, supporting us. Comment if you guys have any questions and subscribe because there's going to be so many more videos to come mm -hmm. of, you know, packing, traveling, and so much more of Mexico. So. Oh, and uh, let me know if you'd be interested in OnlyFans of my feet. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to it? No, it's, they're not ready right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. He's sleeping. <laughs>